you everyone, what's up, it's the Emperor Brewer here, and welcome back to another episode of the RPG Maker XP Tutorials. This one is teaching you how to make a simple farm. Uh, first thing you want to do is go into the database here, and you want to go to items. You want to uh, change maximum, you want to increase it by two, and you want to add seeds and water. You can do this by simply typing seeds into the name and selecting the icon, and same thing with water. Same thing, just add water and potion, uh, graphic, stuff like that. So uh, once you added these two items, go ahead and click OK. Now over here, uh, make make two treasure chests, one containing uh, 25 or more waters, or however much you want, just for the testing purposes. Uh, if you don't know how to make a chest, go check out the first episode, and um, yeah, you'll learn how to make a chest with RPG Maker XP. And this chest, let's have it contain some seeds. So if you open these two chests, you should have 25 seeds and 25 waters. Now. All these events here are just mainly just copy and paste from one single event. Is uh, make a new event, and the event will look a lot like this. So make sure you have three tabs. You can do that by clicking New Page twice, and you'll have three different tabs. I'll explain that here in a moment. Uh, first, let's work. Let's let's focus on the first tab. Nothing over here is checked, and you uh, everything is default. No graphic. Now we're gonna add some text, and that text is going to say place something here question mark and then you're gonna do show choices yes or no when yes we're going to do a conditional branch you can do so by going here and selecting conditional branch now that conditional branch will check if oh, it's on the fourth tab by the way if the item seeds is in the inventory turn self switch a on you can do that by going to control self switch selecting a and change items minus seeds. You can do that by clicking here, change items, decrease, select which item you want to decrease, and by the amount right here. So yeah, basically what this does is if you have the seeds in your inventory, it's going to place them down and it's going to take them from your inventory. And then it's going to activate self-switch A, which turns this event into, well, what looks like seeds or dirt. It's patch, patch things. Um, so then you can make sure it's on action button um, make sure on the second tab self switch A is checked in this little conditions uh, area and make sure it has this graphic now pretty much we're gonna do the same thing we did last time except this time we're gonna add, we're gonna say water the seeds and then we're also going to show choices yes or no again and then if yes conditional branch check if water is in inventory then if it is just like the seeds turn self switch B on so just select B in the self switch control self switch thing and then we're gonna take oh, we're gonna subtract water by one now last but not least on the third tab here um, you will we will just give it this graphic and we're gonna make sure self switch is uh, checked also and selected B this time tab 2 is the a tab 3 is the B now uh, we're gonna give it this little grass patch here so I gave it but yeah remember guys it's very important though self switch a is on tab 2 Self switch B is on tab three. But yeah, so once you give it, once you've given it the graphic that you want, uh, you you can then proceed to add some text saying pick, and then question yes or no, and if yes, you increase. Then it gives you a dispel herb. Which you can do change items, increase, find the dispel herb, and concept one, or more if you want to, and then it turns both self switch A and B off. Basically, that's, this gives you the effect of picking the plant. Once you have all of that, it should look just like this. See, we don't have any seeds right now, so we can't plant anything. So we're going to get some water. As you can see, we can plant some seeds now. Oops, I mean, oops, got it backwards. Alright, so we got some seeds. We can plant some seeds. You can plant them anywhere you want, as long as you have the events there. Uh, you can water them. As you can see, it actually takes those items away. And, uh, yeah, you can water it, you can pick it. Once you go pick it, there you go. And you can do the same process over and over again. Now, if you, for some reason, cannot walk into the bush, or if you're stuck inside of it, uh, then you can go ahead and do what I did and check the throw box. You can see right here. Alright, so this has been the Unprovo, and I hope this helped you guys out. And I hope you guys enjoyed, so see you guys later. Thank you all so much for watching.